Charlie Cushane here to do another video and this is a quick one for a friend. This is a video of he has a golf cart. This is his golf cart tire. It can't hold air anymore and it's probably because it's gotten a little old. It's starting to get a little bit of dry rot and some cracking. Um, the tire still has lots of tread but he wants to save it and the only way to save it really is to put in a tube. So in this video I'll show you how I put that tube in this tire. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you have to do to make the job easier is let the air out. And the easiest way to let all the air out is get one of these tools that allows you to remove the valve stem, inner core. There we go. That's the inner core. And now, no air in it, which is good. Oh, the valve stem is all wrecked as well. We're going to want to take this out too. There we go. There's the valve stem out. Now the next thing we have to do is sort of compress the tire so we can break the bead jump on top of this thing and try to break the bead free. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And then next we get these what they call tire spoons. And we're going to start trying to lift the tire out. There we go. This is Never the easy part. So now we just keep working our, our way around and slowly lift the tire. That's what we want. Everything nice and loose. Now we put the tube in. And obviously, the trick with the tube, the valve stem, you find the way it should go like this. We'll put it in, put some air in it to get it oriented right. the valve stem. Now we'll put a little air in it just to sort of pre-inflate it. Okay now that I have the tube in and roughly just inflated enough to form the shape and smooth out the tube and I can feel it all the way around um, I put a little vice grip on the stem to hold it in position so it doesn't fall in. And then now you got to start opposite the valve stem over here. What you want to do is get the tube, the tire, without pinching the tube. This is critical. Get the tube, tire, I mean, started. Seem to get 
That's what I wanted to do. Just hop down. Okay, the trick was to get this down below this lip. There. there we go. Now we can put some air in it and see how it goes. And it says inflate to 22 psi max. So we'll put some in there slowly. And there's 20 PSI. Perfect. Nice seated bead there. A nice seated bead here. And the tube is rotated just the way I wanted it. Ready to put back on the cart.